Ganglion cell complex in it is an interesting metric. We're starting to utilize it much more so when we're evaluating individuals that are glaucoma suspects and glaucoma patients. There's actually a metric that comes out or that's um, extrapolated from the ganglion cell complex termed focal loss volume or FLV. And we now know how important it is to be within or outside of the normal range of that FLV metric. To give you an example, there was a large scale study several years ago that looked at glaucoma suspects. And it found that if you were a glaucoma suspect and your FLV was outside of the normal range, you had a 40% chance of progressing into visual field damage or changes consistent with glaucoma. If you had a normal FLV measurement and you were a glaucoma suspect, only 10% of those individuals actually developed glaucoma. That's significant, but that's not where the data actually stopped because they also looked at glaucoma patients as well too. And they looked at FLV measurements being within or outside of the normal range. If, if FLV was within the normal range, they found that only 30% of those individuals actually further worsened in terms of their visual field damage over time. But if it was outside of the normal range, they found that 60% of those patients over a five-year time period developed further visual field damage. This is just a significant metric and something that we should all incorporate into our clinical practices when we're looking at these glaucoma patients as one of those key metrics to look for, for risk of further damage in both suspects and glaucoma patients.